Welcome to this channel. A lot is happening as many injured as MCLO more loyalists clash with NURTW members in Lagos. Well, the crisis is just beginning. Let's get into the details. Many people were reportedly injured on Monday in Fagba area of Lagos during a clash involving some loyalists of the newly appointed chairman, Lagos Parks and Garages Committee, a large Muslim popularly known as MC Olomo, a national union of radio transport workers, NURTW members. The incident reportedly occurred in a bid by the loyalists of the newly appointed chairman to officially take over the packs from NURTW, but this was met with resistance by those who were previously in charge of the areas. According to eyewitnesses' account, the incident which started in the morning was said to have continued uninterrupted, degenerated and extended to Ogba in Ifako, Ijaye, and Penn Cinema, where a yet-to-be-ascertained number of people were said to be injured. An eyewitness who gave his name as Mojere Okpe said the crisis was noticed a few days ago when Akin Soya was announced as the committee chairman of the parks and garages. One of the loyalists from Yaya Abaton area was seen moving from garages to garages, forcefully asking people to denounce their membership with NURTW and pitch their tent with MC Olomo. But this came to its peak on Monday when some hoodlums arrived major park simultaneously insisting that people denounce their membership with NURTW. This led to an altercation whereby those who refused to denounce their membership with NURTW were injured while others scampered for safety. Affected areas where Ogba Ifako, Fagba and Penn Cinema were, people including passers, passerby were injured, he said. Another eyewitness, Shalogba De Alogba, said the altercation met him at Penn Cinema when he was awaiting a bus to Agege. I saw some hoodlums, about 100 in number, wielding dangerous weapons while people ran Elta Scouter. They were shouting, say MC Lomo, say MC Lomo, though I did not know their mission but took to my aid to avoid any eventuality. Well, it was learned that a victim of the incident simply identified as Samuel is currently under medical treatment at an undisclosed hospital. It could not be ascertained if there were facilities, but some park and garages in the affected areas were deserted. At press time, police operatives have arrived in the affected areas to bring the situation under control. It is no news that this appointment of Enzo Lomo is bringing in a lot of crisis and a lot of trouble. And that's why people are asking, has Tunobu shot himself in the foot? A lot of people do not like the fact that he was appointed as the chairman of the PAX committee, saying that there are more capable people that should be kept in that position, and that why is an illiterate and an agbero in that position? We can even recall that people are asking that why would he put M. Solomo as head over the former permanent secretary and the inspector general of police? Well, a lot of people are wondering what is really happening. And they have, in a way, they've thrown shades at someone who's saying that he shouldn't have done what he did. He shouldn't have put M. Solomo in that position because... He, he has gone against the national body, he has gone against the president of the national body. It was said that he, he, he was inciting people against the national body, saying that Lagos should Lagos chapter should be on its own. It should be it should be removed from the um, national body of NERTW. It should be a, its own chapter. It should be its own uh, it should be on its own, rather, sorry. It should be on its own. So there's been a, a lot of people complaining about this new appointment, saying that they suspended him, they removed him, and they, and they abolished the NURTW um, in Lagos. They removed it, saying that there should not be any um, NURTW Lagos chapter. And after, you, after doing that as a governor, you went ahead to go and put him in another position, you even upgraded him. 
So people are angry. People are, are mad about what is happening, saying that he is not fit for that position. And well, he is not trying to stop, step down. M. Solomon is a very ambitious person. Everybody knows how he started from the streets. Everybody knows how he started. Everybody knows that he was from the street. He was a thug. He was stealing ballot boxes for politicians. And he was Tunumbu's favorite henchman. We know he was Tunumbu's favorite henchman. He does all the dirty works for Tunumbu. And Tunumbu doesn't get his hands dirty. He, he, he employed boys to steal ballot boxes. People know People know who M. Solomon is and they know that he is a very ambitious person. So now that this has happened, he is not stepping down and he's not even bothered. And he's now using violence, inciting violence in the state. And this is going to be a really long crisis in this Lagos state. Because now, the people who are, the people who are pro M. Solomon are fighting and people who are, 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 are also called M. Solomon are fighting. They are fighting. People who are pro M. Solomon are saying that they should not remove M. Solomon. M. Solomon is good for the job and everything. Telling people to denounce being part of NERTW. You can see that is what caused the crisis. They are asking people to denounce membership from the NURTW saying that they should come under the wings of MC Olu Omo. Well, a lot of people are concerned and now they've said that this is just the beginning. The lot is going to happen because they have shot themselves on the foot. APC has really shot themselves on the foot with this M so long. This is a man that cannot be brought down. He's a man that cannot be tamed. This is somebody that is ambitious, that must get to the top. So you cannot reason with such kind of man. You cannot bring such kind of man down. So now it's going to be a very big issue because now he is not letting go. And with the new power that the governor has given him, Babajide Samuel, there is going to be a huge, there's going to be a huge problem. Because you know he was suspended for some certain allegations. He was suspended for misconduct. He was suspended for incitement. You people know what he was suspended for. And instead of you people to remove... Okay, yes, they, they've removed him. You guys removed him. You, you've abolished the body, the NERTW. Then why didn't you, you just leave him as he is? You went, they went ahead to, to appoint him. As the chairman of the management parks committee, and you expect problem not to happen, he is going to take over everything. Going to take over the tricycles. Going to take over the keke. We all know that he was only in charge of the buses. And if this happens, he is going to take over everything. Over the keke tricycle. Uh, over the tricycles, uh, popularly known as keke, he is going to take over Okada's. And there will be a lot of, because he, a lo, sometimes a lot of people complain that at Oshodi, these boys harass them. The, um, the buses people, they always harass and harass people driving buses. And the money they take for them is a lot. Just imagine what is going to happen if he if, if, if takes charge of the tricycles and the Okadas. And the motorcycles, there is going to be a huge problem. They will continue extorting and extorting and extorting people of that and end money. This is just a crisis that is just about to begin. And I don't even know what the solution is because we wanted a state gov governor that was going to do the right thing. And you went ahead and put M. Solomon there, causing more trouble for Lagos State and making everywhere unsafe. Because if they continue fighting and fight, there's no place that they won't fight. They, have, they fought at Udumata some months back. Now, if I call it Jage, you don't know where else they are going to fight again. I just pray that Lagos is safe. We need somewhere that is safe, somewhere that everybody can stay. Well, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. And turn on your notifications to get more news updates from us as it's dropping. Thank you.